Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as usual. Um, we're talking about operators today. Now, this is a kind of a scary topic for me because there are so many operators you can overload for your classes. So I'm going to do as many as I can slowly and surely and try to explain them as well as I can as well. I don't understand all of them myself. I don't know why you, you would use some of them. But uh, some of them are very useful, okay? In the past videos, oh, sorry for screaming. <laughs> In the past videos, we talked about uh, assignment operator, the copy constructor, deep copy, all that stuff. So this is really important. Please check that out if you haven't, because uh, you really need to nail that if you're going to work with dynamic memory and classes. Um, in these coming videos, I'll try to push out as many operators as I can. All right, so but before we get started, check out the description box. As always, all the nice links, Discord, Twitter, uh, support page. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. But let's just get started. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use a, a class called card. Okay, and it's very simple. It's just going to have a private member value, okay? Int value. And we're going to have a uh, public section here, of course, with the card constructor int i int value okay and we're just going to say this value equals value okay it's very very simple all right very very simple and uh, we're going to have a const int get value const int get value const return this value Okay, pretty much, pretty much. We'll just do inline on that as well. So there you go. So we're just going to get the value. We can create a card. So let's just go ahead and create a card like this with the value 5, okay? And I'll call it C1. And let me, before we get started here, let me show you on this page here, tutorials point. Please go here and just check out all the operators you can overload. It has a really nice um, list of all the operators you can overload. Also, how to all the examples, okay? I want to go through the binary ones and the unary and the binary ones today. Just some of these. I can't do all of these right now, but I'll do some of them that I think are, are more important than other, others, okay? And uh, some of these are so alike that you, this is the same syntax. You just got to, for example, this um, greater than or the not operator, these two. Very simple. They're both returning booleans. All you have to do is just change the insides of them. So you have to kind of check for stuff and then return a false or a true here. And the same thing here, just depending on how you want to do it. So I'll, I'll show you examples of that. Um, but let's just get started. So I have the C1. Now imagine if I, if I had an integer i, which was 20, and I did a stdc out minus i like this. So this is the, this is the negating operator. I don't know what it's called really. But it's, it's one of these. So it's, it gives me back the value of it, but negative. Okay. Now, what if I want to do that C1? For C1, my object, right? Um, well, this wouldn't work anyway. Uh, say, say this. Card C2 is a copy of C1. Remember the copy constructor? It will be called here. But a negative of C1. This doesn't work. It says... Um, no operator matches these operands. See, I can't do that. I can't create an object which is the opposite of, well, what would you call it? The negative opposite kind of, of C1. So I, I want C2 to be exactly like C1, but negative. So minus five. Um, now, I'm just going to do C2 dot get value here because I want to see what value it gets. Okay. But I want to, I have to overload this operator. So it's the same thing. Now, you got to think logically here. When you return a negative of an object, you're going to return the object as well, right? So you're going to return a const card object. And the operator is the negative operator, like that. And there is no need for any in parameters because, yeah, obviously it doesn't take anything. It's just all you want is it to return an object that is a copy of C1 with all the values turned into negatives, okay? So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to do this. I'm going to create a card object, temp, and I'm going to say it has the value minus 
this value. Okay, so it's going to have the same value, just minus. And then I'm going to return temp. Okay, so I'm returning a whole, a whole card object with the negative value here. Okay. So that's basically what I'm doing. And then that means that now it works. C2 is going to get minus 5. Or at least it should get the value minus 5. Yep. Okay. So that is great. That is great. So if we go in here and we just full screen this and we look at unary operators, there's a bunch of examples in here. Uh, just like the one I did. For example, with this distance, that's a great class. Okay. Whoops. That's a great class. Okay. And I'm using uh, someone else's material here, but the idea is the same. You should go check this out. Um, see, minus D1, D1 display distance. Like it, it, you can do the minus operator so it changes its own shit and makes it all negative. Okay, see? Here, this person is actually taking its own private members and just turning them around into negatives. That's why just calling minus D1 actually makes apply negation and then you display it so you can do that as well if you wanted to okay you could do that if you wanted to otherwise you can just return a copy like i just did okay i return i'm actually returning a copy of a temp object so there's the two things you can choose how you want to do now there are more operators that you can use obviously there is uh, there are unary operators or binary operators sorry and what those are are these plus, um, bit minus and stuff between two objects. Okay, so binary operators, here you go. So here's an example. You have a box, you have an operator plus, and then you send in, of course, another box as a parameter. And then you add those two and return a copy of the, uh, or you return a box object that is the combination of the two. Okay, you can't do that with classes. Say that I have, a, I have C1 and C2, and I want to create a card C3, which is C1 plus C2. Okay, I can't do that. There is no operator overloaded. So, but if I want to do that, I'll do a const card object operator plus. Okay, and I'll do a const card reference object card object like that and then I can add two things together so I'll create a temporary card okay and it will be this value plus card dot value okay so we'll have the addition of both of these itself and the other one and then I'll just return temp okay so when I create the C3, I'm going to do C3 value, it should get 5 plus minus 5, which should be the value 0. Hopefully I get 0 there. Exactly. So now if I were to change C2 to 34, I should get these the combination of these two cards. Okay. Now you sometimes you can have other things that you can't really add together. For example, if you have a STD string here, uh, name for the card... How are you going to add two cards together and give it an addition of the name? You know, it's going to look weird. So then you can do customizable things like the minus. You can say, um, like, for example, if we just go in here and we say STD uh, string name. Okay. In the constructor, we just say this name equals name. Okay. And... Then this constructor is obviously a complaint. So what are we going to do with the negation? Right? How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to return this name plus a plus symbol or a minus symbol after that. So name minus. Like, that's, that's you can kind of customize it. Depends on how you want it to react when this operator is called. That's the whole point. You choose how the... Uh, cards react so uh, here I could do this name plus card dot name and I can format it just any way I wanted to okay I could do that and this could be a bad card and this could be a good card and then it's gonna just have this weird name 
when I print it out. So I'm just going to create a get name here as well. Get name. Just name. And then I'm going to just copy this. Get name. And run this. Then I should get a combination of these two. So 39 bad card, good card. See, so it kind of... It kind of did that. Now, if I wanted to customize that, I could kind of uh, make some, some nice additions here. Like that. You know, just give it some kind of extra flair here so you know what the hell's going on. Um, so, bad card plus good card, you know. So, you can kind of change it however you want. Obviously, you will probably want a space in here or something. Um, so, so, yeah, yeah. You know, just, just yeah. However you want it. That's the point of overloading operators. Now there are more. Obviously, you can multiply. You can um, use plus here. You can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. It, you don't have to. If you do the negation here, you don't have to do this if you don't want. It just makes sense. Okay, it just happens to be when you say minus C1, what happens then? You decide. You decide what the hell happens then. You can do plus if you want. You can do you can do multiplications. You can just turn it into whatever the hell you want to do. Okay, just remember that. There's no set rules. It's just, this uh, function is here just to let you tell the computer what happens when I call this operator with this object. Okay, but what happens is up to you. So there you go. That's the uh, unary operator overloading. All that means is you just have one object that is affecting. And if you do binary operator overloading then you have two objects you have a receiving object and you have an incoming object and you add those two or multiply them together now what I want you to do is I want you to take these examples and for example make other operators overload the multiplication operator the negative operator the minus operator I mean subtraction um, the division the modulus just go ahead and try that out do just copy paste this one and do it and then try to add to multiply two uh, things together okay so go ahead and do that another thing I want to show you just before I leave you here is for example what if you want to do this if you have a multiplication sign here okay I can make something what if I want to duplicate uh, or make a cards value double easily okay then I'm just gonna do this const um, int um, multiple I, I don't know maybe something like that and then I'm gonna have this card here and I'm gonna have the name plus name plus uh, multiplied by two that's what I'm gonna have as a string just to tell me that this has been multiplied by two card value multiplied by two I'm gonna return the temp so say that I have c3 and then Let's see. Multiple. So I want to actually not do this. I'm going to do this. Uh, this value multiplied equal by 2. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to send in this value, this name, and return temp. C3. And then we're going to create a card C4 which is C3 multiplied by 2. See, now this operator is going to work. I could do multiply by 3 as well if I wanted to. Now C4 dot get value. Okay, now that should be some, this plus this multiplied by 2. So it should be something like 70 or 80. 78. Bad card plus good card. Okay. And then obviously you want this name plus equals multiply by two just append that at the end and then you'll do this and then we run this so 78 is bad card plus good card multiplied by two so i guess <laughs> i guess that works so just go ahead and do this play around with this and you can find all kinds of combination all kind of fun things you can do with these operators okay thank you so much for watching hope you learned something i know it was a little slow video uh but yeah in the next one, we'll probably talk about relational operators and, and booleans and stuff, which are really nice for classes as well. So, uh, so yeah.
look forward to teaching you that. So thanks again for all the support. Check out the description box. Take care. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.